Free beer and hot wings in the morning. Grand Rapids rocks all day. 97.9 GRD. Cloudy and cold. Light snow. 36 the high. It's about 32 downtown GR. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but when the weather is like it was this weekend with the high winds and the ice on the trees and everything else, I am irrationally fearful of branches falling and killing me uh, when I'm in an area where I don't think it's irrational. Well, no, but I, you, the way I walk around, first of all, like I'm looking up and I'm going to hear it snap and I'm going to scurry out of the way. Probably not very likely. We lost uh, a bunch of it, branches. Yeah. yeah. But well, we, yeah, we have a bunch of really tall, skinny pine trees in our backyard and I was just sitting there on the couch yesterday looking out the window like oh boy every single one of those trees could hit the house yeah if they fell yeah there was one uh i feel like it was in muskegon where i saw where a tree hit the house and it was like the house was made of playing cards like the well just you know because it was such a big tree and even this car in grand rapids this was an m live i'm holding wow. up where it hit the windshield and uh nobody was driving it at that time or at least they escaped injury yeah, I oh, get, no, they take it back. They were driving. They were driving, and the tree fell on the road they were driving on. I get nervous oh. everywhere I drive in conditions like that where there's trees anywhere around. And, like, there are certain places I won't I won't walk when it's like that because, um, like, I've got these uh, trees in my yard. They're just cottonwoods or whatever, but they're notoriously weak. They lose branches all the time. So when it's windy like that, it's not uncommon for them to drop branches or just completely tip over. That have been dead for a while. Especially in, like, these conditions where the ground has been frozen, then thawed out, then a little frozen, then thawed out again. It's Everything's wet and murky. Yeah. So it all falls over really easily. So I don't think it's irrational at all, unless I'm totally irrational, too. <laughs> and we then, all are. And then so be it. Did you see GRCC, uh, completely unrelated, GRCC has uh, laptop vending machines to help students who maybe didn't have access to it or, or maybe needed one or whatever? This is Wait, a laptop vending that. machine? Oh, a vending machine that you can get laptops out of. I'm like, I don't understand oh, how that was, works. You thought it was like uh, a vending machine you put on your lap and it gives you freedom. Yeah, I didn't know. I like, I just, uh, what? Yeah, I'm like, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. How does that even work? I feel like the real thing makes a lot more sense. Yeah. Than, oh, it does. It does. But, but I understand. Seeing yeah, a, a laptop vending machine. Uh, they started piloting yeah. uh, one machine from Laptops Anytime, which is a company based in Dallas. You go up and you need a laptop. You... Uh, it, it really is. It's you punch in the last name on the touch screen, swipe their student ID, and out pops one of the 12 Dells. Okay, so it's like Redbox, but for a computer. It is. Great. The fully charged computers available for four hours. Students simply return them back to the machine when they're done. The machine then wipes it clean from work and recharges it for the next person. Oh, so man. if a student doesn't have a computer, maybe theirs is broken, or they just don't, don't have one, can't afford one, whatever it is, it keeps them from going to the labs or checking one out at the library. Yeah. That's really cool. Ugh. Who cleans those things? No, I would never That's your big, I would never want well, to use them. Everything's dirty to you. They're spanking their monkeys to yeah. that that computer. You think they're taking the the laptops from the vending machine and that's the first thing they're doing? They're yeah. not doing yeah. homework. Yeah. They're going it's to like spank it. Like, yeah. 19-year-old you hasn't had a computer and you now you have one in your apartment for 4 hours. You you think they're taking it home for 4 hours and they're using it on campus. Oh, free beer. Justin. You're not going to whack it. No. You're 19 years old. No, no I can I, I go am. four hours without <laughs> yeah, whacking thank it. You. And I didn't need a laptop to do it. Yeah, but if you didn't have a laptop, I mean, what's better than a burner laptop? <laughs> <laughs> to look at the real the sketchy burner. stuff. I don't believe it. I mean, you, seriously, man. like if you're if you're somebody who's into the really sketchy stuff, or even if it's not particularly sketchy, but you're worried about your computer being compromised with a virus of some sort. Yeah, like kitchen utensils. Why not borrow the GRCC Dell computer and uh, not worry at all about whether or not you're going to get a, a a virus from X Hamster or Pornhub or whatever? I'm going to bet <laughs> that um, they have some sort of uh, blocks set up on them. Well, we can figure out. Well, Maitland, that's, that's dirty pool. I need you to get one of these computers and see if you can watch porn well, on if, it. If she can get one, yeah. you can get one. She's not a student at GRCC. Oh. You're closer to that than she is. You just got to finish your GED. I have my GED. I have a high school diploma. <laughs> oh, okay. You have both? Oh, then, you're like a doctor. Then perfect. <laughs> like a doctor. Yeah. You can be an instructor. But I'll bet there is some sort of, you know, 
But then again, maybe there's I'm not. Sorry. It's wiped clean. I thought one college, all college. <laughs> yeah. All college <laughs> equals the same. Maitland, you're going to Harvard? Yeah. yeah. Why don't you talk to the president? Jeez. Unless you can only take notes on it or something. Maybe they don't have any internet access. Oh, they have to have internet. <laughs> What's the point of that? Right. Well, oh, sometimes you yeah. just need a word processor. No, you don't. No. Not anymore. Man. Well, that's cool. Those are the days in college. Now, this is, Steve, this is very dated. I had a, I had a word processor that was the size of a computer. <laughs> like, it had a monitor, and it had the regular keyboard, and it had a tiny little LCD screen on it. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I, at first I had one with the LCD screen, and then I got the full monitor. And uh, you would type in what you want and then edit on the screen. And then when you clicked print, I thought it was going to print out like a printer the first time. Lo and behold, it would just then type it one letter at a time like a moderately fast typewriter. So the first time I'm like waiting to the deadline, of course, procrastinate, 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 hit go. And I'm like, all right, 20 pages should be printed off in about click, 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 click. Oh, two hours. I'm dead. So I guess the only point of it is so you can proofread before it actually types. Yes. That's the only the yeah. only advantage to it. It actually was good because then you didn't yeah. have to like, you know, the the alternative was an actual typewriter if you didn't have a computer or yeah. a computer, but that was much more expensive. Yeah, we had a sweet brother word processor. That's what this was. Yeah, I remember typing up yeah. uh typing up papers in like middle school on that thing. Oh, brother. Got me all the way through college till I got the internets. Then mm. Nothing but the highway for me. <laughs>